Hello, and welcome to Grace Christian School's Easter series called Easter Upside Down. I'm Don Pettinger, the superintendent of Grace Christian Schools, and this week, I know many of us think of Easter as spring break. If you look here at the beach, everyone is celebrating spring break, and it's a great time to be with our families, but we really, as Christians, need to understand what the true reason of Easter is. Easter is probably the biggest day in the Christian's life each year. It's the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. This week, you're gonna get a little bit of a behind the scenes look at three different characters in the Bible presented by our very own three Bs. That's Brittany Sinko, one of our first grade teachers, Barbara Wolfner, our one of our receptionists, and Bob Clark. Uh, he's gonna wrap this all up and give you an offer of salvation at the very end of the message. But throughout this entire series, if you ever have a question, would like more information about a home church or how you can have a better relationship with Jesus, look in the comment section below and you will find a phone number that you can contact or an email that you can reach out to and we're here to help. Today, I have the great privilege of being able to talk about Mary, part of a sibling rivalry as you could say, Lazarus, Mary, and Martha, three characters in the Bible and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about a story where Mary turns Easter upside down. As I mentioned, I have the privilege of talking about Mary and a sibling rivalry, as you might say. Martha, Mary, and Lazarus, three individuals who truly loved each other, brothers and sisters. Martha, one of the siblings, was really the first Martha Stewart. She was a whiz in the kitchen, and her spiritual gift was being able to serve others in her home, being able to put on the most amazing dinners and banquets that you have ever seen. And in the time of Jesus, dinners and a time when you got around the table was a big opportunity to share. And it wasn't like dinners we see today where they're only like a minute or two. These were drawn out where people could share their hearts and share what was on their minds. Lazarus, as you might remember, is the person who Jesus rose from the dead. And why he did that was because of Mary. Mary went to Jesus and she just shared her heart with him and she actually got Jesus to weep. And because of that, he brought Mary's brother back to life after four days. Now this is a unique story, but the video you're about to see is the banquet, is a dinner celebrating that uh, opportunity that Jesus brought Lazarus back to, from the dead. Now this is taking place about six days before Passover. And you have to remember during these big dinners, it was primarily men who were there. Women often didn't get the opportunity to come in and listen and share stories. You're gonna get the opportunity to hear what Mary did with a bottle of ointment that was worth probably one year's salary and how she turned Easter upside down. Let's take a moment and watch this video clip told by Mary's perspective. came with specific instructions. Use it wisely. My grandmother said, it is only for the most special occasion. It had been a gift from her mother who told her the same thing. Only for the most special occasion. I held it for years, not knowing what could be special enough for this. Until It was six days before Passover. He was reclined, his feet towards me. Around him, his followers. I too was a follower, at first at a distance. But he invited us. The women, women, really everyone, to come near to hear his stories of God's curious kingdom. That night, I gathered my perfume from its safe hiding place. The room crowded with men. No one noticed me. Without hesitation, I broke open the lid of the bottle. The perfume drenched his feet. With a slight smile, he, he looked at me. And then, I did something I had not planned. 
I covered, I covered his feet with my hair, washing them with my tears. I had no choice. He was Messiah, worthy of anointing. This, this was the celebration that everyone hoped for, of who we hoped for. I kept the bottle and the memory. The perfume was not wasted. He, he was the most special occasion. big round table that was close to the ground and the people who were dining would get on the ground and they would like put their shoulders or elbows up on the table and listen to each other as they told stories and kind of would lay out and normally women weren't allowed there and another thing is you heard Mary say that she she cleaned Jesus feet with her hair and her tears remember women always kept their hair up for her to drop her hair in front of all these men at the table was something that was completely unheard of. And she was criticized for it roundly, even from some of Jesus' disciples. But Jesus quickly came to her aid. In Luke, you can even, he, Luke even quotes that Jesus said, she is the one who is listening. She hears my teaching. And you know, because she was such a good listener of Jesus' teaching, some scholars suspect that she might have even knew what was in store for Jesus. Uh, this was six days before the Passover, and the next day, Jesus was gonna get on top of a donkey and ride to Jerusalem, where he would be paraded, and then when he got there, that Friday would be crucified on the cross. That's pretty powerful stuff. Let's think for a moment about the ointment that she put all over uh, Jesus. It, the finest perfume, nard. You know, it would cost maybe one month's salary. Just think how valuable it was for her family that her grandmother gave it to her mother who gave it to her, who said use this only for the most special occasion. And Mary knew right then this was a special occasion. She was dealing with the Messiah. And as we look further into Mark, Mark explains that Jesus said that Mary was preparing his body for burial. Even Jesus knew that the end wasn't near for him and that his, his crucifixion was going to be happening soon. So here is one of the stories that doesn't always get looked at or sometimes gets glossed over. Mary was spectacular in her love for Jesus and everything that she did and the display, public display. She was willing to use this ointment uh, to just bless and anoint Jesus' body before he went on. You know, some of his own disciples, as I said, criticized her for this, and Jesus rebuked them, saying, let Mary do what is right. And one, we'll hear about Judas later in the series this week, he wanted to sell the ointment in order to get uh, revenues, he said, for the children and for the poor. But Jesus told him, the poor will always be with you, and I won't. So. I hope the story has touched you some to, so that you'll continue to tune in this week to hear some other stories of our Bible characters that are leading up to the Easter season and to the crucifixion and to the eventual resurrection of Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for you and for me for our sins and because of him we can have true life. If you are interested in having a relationship with Jesus, please look down below and you'll see an email or a phone number. Give us a call. We'll help you get a close relationship. We'll help you accept Jesus into your life. And if you don't have a home church and you, you're a Christian and you've just been wandering, give us a call. We have a number of churches that we can share with you and we'd love to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this presentation about Mary and I hope you tune in the rest of the week as we have some other amazing characters of the Bible that you'll be interested in hearing. Thanks so much. Have a great day.